Kelly with On My Way and uh, it's time to do my weekly update. I'm a few days behind. Uh, things have been a little bit crazy. I'm really excited. I've got some really exciting news. I have lost 50 pounds. Um, 20 pounds with intermittent fasting which I've done over the past uh, five or six weeks and uh, 30 pounds in the year previous to that because I was going up and down and up and down. So yeah, it's been really great. Uh, once I found the intermittent fasting, it's it's coming along really well. Um, and if there's any of you that haven't seen the previous videos or you're not aware of what um, intermittent fasting is, it's the idea that you would have your full day's worth of calories, but just in a shorter window. Some people will do 12 hour fasting and a 12 hour feeding window. Some people do 16 and eight. I try to do about 19 and five. And the premise behind that is that you would let your body get into a fasted state, which after 12 hours it will, and uh, your body would burn the glycogen from your stored fat cells instead of from the glucose from the food that you're eating all day. So that's been really good for me, obviously with the weight loss, as well as emotionally and mentally with the food addictions and emotional eating disorders that I suffer with so that's been really good and I didn't think I was gonna hit that mark this week I didn't think it was gonna happen because it was a bad week my knee has really been bothering me so I haven't been able to work out as much and I've got some issues with like the ligaments so basically old lady knee is what my orthopedic surgeon told me and then it was my lady time so I wasn't feeling super awesome about that um, the scales have been showing higher like I'd gained all week um, and typically that would send me into you know feeling just awful and wanting to give up and that I'd failed and just I would quit for a while and gain some more weight and then finally get back on track but lately I've been able to still just hold on to the idea that it's gonna be okay and it's gonna work itself out and I just kept going and pounded the water and tried to clean up my eating a little bit I'd kind of let the cheats and treats aspect of if it fits your macros kind of take over a little bit so I cleaned up the eating a bit and was able to have it turn around uh, and reach that 50 pound mark so my goal is I've got about another 65 pounds to lose my starting weight was 275 I'll insert a picture so you'll be able to see what I looked like at that point then you might remember from uh, the previous videos that I was able to in the spring of 2011 get down to about 160 this is what I looked like at that point quickly after that I got uh, pregnant with my second child and gained it all back just thinking oh I'll lose it again it'll be fine but uh, have been struggling ever since to get that off so um, I've been really happy with intermittent fasting and the, the success that I've been able to have thus far. I've even been able to go through, I have all these bins and containers full of different sized clothing from all the different sizes that I've been over the years and I've got them organized into you know what's the size I'm gonna be able to fit into next so I brought out the next bin and was able to uh, try on some smaller clothes and just feel better about uh, you know those non-scale victories and that things are changing and happening for me So it's been really good. And it's a good motivational tool to keep me on track to see that there is progress that I you know Can have these clothes that I haven't worn in years and years and years and then another great thing that I've found about doing these videos and talking openly about the the issues that I struggle with during my weight loss journey is I've had a few people message me tell me that they suffer from similar eating disorders with you know the binge eating and the the secret of eating and hiding junk food and things like that and I, I think that's part of the reason that I'm doing this and that I'm being so open and candid about my struggles because it's it's not easy to admit some of this stuff. It's really embarrassing and that's why a lot of people tend to keep that secretive stuff kind of on the down low. But I think that if it gets talked about and people are able to realize that it's a little bit more commonplace than, than we think it might be, then we can find help in, in feeling that solidarity with some other people. So that's, that's why I've been doing it because it's very cathartic to talk openly about it and then to have the response from people identifying that they struggle with similar things. It helps me to feel like I'm not alone and that I can keep trying and can keep going. And ultimately that's what I've learned in the last little while is that you're going to be able to feel and have more success 
if you eliminate that guilt that typically will come from the standard diet mentality of restriction and deprivation. Hi Casey. And um, just ends up to leading to feel like you have to crack and you have to give in. I've just, I've found that it's been a lot better uh, doing it this way. It's helped with the emotional eating and the, the struggles that I've had. Um, sorry, I got a little bit uh, distracted there. I was having trouble focusing on what I was talking about. With the standard uh, diet mentality, uh, where we're trained to think that there has to be restriction um, and deprivation, and you just have to eat a certain way and avoid certain things. And that doesn't really work well for people that do struggle with like emotional eating or have food addictions. You know, I've had a couple of people message me and contact me and, and talk about how, you know, they're trying to lose weight but their their partners or their family are being very critical of the food that they're eating and just you know saying well I'm just trying to be helpful I just want to be a coach but telling someone that they can't have something is sometimes not the best response especially for people that do struggle with issues with food and I always used to take those comments to heart and just feel guilty and that would be the reason why those types of things would be eaten in secret or hidden. Recently I've been of the mindset you know when I hear that well you you shouldn't have that you can't have that I'm thinking until when? When is it gonna be okay to have this whatever it is that I want? How much weight do I have to lose before it's okay to have that because really you know that's what people do they deprive themselves while they're dieting for a certain amount of time until they feel they've been successful or they're happy and then they have it and then things revert and so with intermittent fasting and if it fits your macros what's really great about it is you can incorporate any kind of eating style that you want to do. If you want to do keto, if you want to do paleo, if you want to do vegetarian, vegan, whatever eating plan you want to have, you can just switch it over and convert it to intermittent fasting. And so I wanted to do um, a style of eating that's mostly like eating clean, mostly vegetarian, but still having the, the freedom to have some other things that might typically be excluded. You know, I'm not eliminating pretty much anything because I want this to be the way that I eat for the rest of my life. I want to do intermittent fasting forever. So I want to eat now the way I plan on eating for the rest of time basically. So I don't want it to be a diet of restriction right now and then whenever that point is when I've lost enough or I've done enough, then it's okay to have that because doing it that way, I found in the past, has led to freaking out and binging. And so I've really been happy with intermittent fasting. It's worked out really well for me, both physiologically and emotionally. So I'll keep doing these weekly updates, just letting you keep tabs on this weight loss journey of mine and uh, if there's anything specific that you'd like to have talked about or addressed or you know, anything to do with like the food addictions or anxiety and depression just please feel free to comment below and I'd be happy to do that and uh, if you are liking these videos that I'm putting out feel free to like the video comment below and subscribe to my channel so that you can stay current on the, the content that I'm putting out Okay, have a great day. We'll talk to you guys next week.